good morning, all my fellow assessed, levied, tariffed patriots. Let's take a look at the story from the Business Insider. President Donald Trump fights valuation on Park Avenue retail space, saying the property is being overvalued when compared with similar buildings. Now, I have no doubt that this is the truth. I also think, though, that this is only a partial truth. This might just be a rare case of President Trump being modest. Why, the valuations in the Trump Tower have decreased because, well, the eagle has left the nest. And... President Trump is not the only eagle that's left. There have also been geese that have migrated south, chickens that have flown the coop. In fact, the only birds left in New York right now are pigeons. And they are freeloading off the public and crapping all over the place. De Blasio realizes this. He needs those eagles. He needs the geese. He needs the chickens. He could do with a few less pigeons. Remember, he said the city was a dead duck if the rich left, and he offered to cook dinner to get them to stay. Unfortunately, it wasn't long before people found out the extent of his culinary skills and that at the bottom of the invite, he had a BYOCO on it. Now, his culinary skills, unfortunately, did not extend past cooking a can of Chef Boyardee spaghetti. And, well, that BYOCO means bring your own can opener. Like most politicians, though, he has a plan B. He thinks he has the blood of Michelangelo and Da Vinci running through him, he thought. Hmm, what can I do in order to bring the rich to New York? Sistine Chapel? Too big. Mona Lisa? Too small. Last Supper? That's it, a mural. He decided on creating a mural in New York City. You know where I'm going with this. Yeah, de Blasio. Now... For most people, they know murals belong on walls. de Blasio created his on Fifth Avenue right in front of Trump Tower as his way to plead with President Trump, please come back to New York, Mr. President. Unfortunately, President Trump wasn't into modern art. On top of that, because this was painted on the streets, and he had a whole cordon of cops around it to make sure no one defaced it. Well, people couldn't get in and out of Trump Tower very well, creating more of a problem for President Trump, not less of one. Time for good old de Blasio's Plan C, his final plan. There was another New Yorker he could go to to talk to a fresh face. So he asked AOC, how can we make people move back into New York City? How can we make New York City a better city for all? How can we make people stop calling New York City the rotten apple? And AOC turned her back in reply.